So solving this problem, we're going to do it two ways. So we'll have x squared minus 2x is equal to x squared plus 6x. And then we'll have um, x squared minus 2x is equal to negative x squared minus 6x. All right, so what happens here is x squared is cancel out. You get negative 2x equals 6x, subtract 6x, or however you want to do it. And then we get negative 4x is equal to 0. Divide through by negative 4. And anything divided by 0 is 0. So we get x is equal to 0. Over here, we get 2x squared. Um, and then add. So that's adding x. And then add 6x. So we end up with plus 4x. So um, factor out a oh equals zero. Let me divide through by two, so we get x squared plus two x equals zero. Um, and then factor out an x squared, we get x plus two equals zero. So then we get x is equal to zero and negative two here. So let's just test this. So neg uh, zero works, of course. It's easy to see that because everything has a zero. Everything has a zero. It's a zero when you put in zero for x. All right, so we plug in negative two, so we get four. Minus negative two, so that's plus four. So we get eight. Absolute value of eight is eight. Um, here it's four minus, well, six times negative two minus 12, which gives us negative eight, but the absolute value of negative eight is eight. So negative, or uh, x equals negative two works. So x equals zero and negative two both work. And those are the solutions.